Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are learning about the slots concept in the Vue.js 3 composition API. So now it's time for us to learn another concept in the slots that is named slots. So up to now what we have seen, we have seen the slot content that is nothing but here the, the content, the HTML content what we are trying to write it here. So we can add it only in the one place only that is nothing but wherever we declare the slot. But we need to have a scenario in a such a way that we need to have a something like multiple slot outlets in a single component. Here in a single component, we have only one single slot outlet so that the slot content wherever we are trying to write it here, automatically it will be inserted here. So if you want to have a multiple slot outlet means then we need to use the named slots. I will try to show you one example. For example, let's say that here this is a due content and here we need to have something like here we need to have something like header okay header we need to have a header and we have an another content so main and the last one is the footer okay so the here we need to have a multiple slot outlet outlets here in the app content app dot view here i can write something like we need to have h1 header header content and the another one is something like due main content and here due and the last one will be the last one will be footer content so these are the three things and here we need to show it in between so here in between you will be having some uh, nav okay navigation and have like this like this we are having but header should come in this header block main should come in the main block and footer should come in the footer block here whatever the html elements we are using so that means there are three separate html elements and these three separate html should one should be present in the header and the other one should be in the main and the footer last so for example if i keep slot here what will happen let's see so whatever the things we are having all the things will be inserted automatically see here you will be able to see header main footer is coming and navigation is coming at the last but here the navigation should come after the header content main and footer should come at the bottom but here this is not possible why because here we are having a single slot where the single slot will render all these things so that means we need to have a multiple slots here so here you need to have another slot okay and here we need to have an another slot right so but we need to have the slots in a such a way that only particular content only should be displayed in a particular slot so for that reason we need to have a named slot so that is the reason named slots will be useful. So for example, let's say that I am giving the name for this one as name slot name is equal to header. I am using slot name is equal to header. And here I can use something like slot. You can use the default thing. If you don't want anything, so you can use the default thing. And here I can use the slot name is equal to footer. Okay, so this is the default one. So now we have mentioned the names for this one. How can we define here? For example, let's say that this one should be applied in a slot name is equal to header. For that reason, what I can do is I can use the template. Okay, template element. And in this one, we need to use vi fun slot and whatever the name you have used it header, the name slot name. So you can add it and here, whatever the content you want, you can add it here. And this one is in default slot. So here you can use template. vi fun slot default one so you can add it default here so whichever the thing which doesn't have any name so this default slot content will be displayed and here the last one is the footer template v iphone slot footer add it here and in this one we can add the content that's it so this is the named slots now if you try to see the output here so here we are able to see now this time header content navigation main content and also the footer content so here we are able to see it clearly and the another thing what i want to tell you is we have used this vi fun slot header right and here we are having a default one right so now here you can remove this one for the default thing there is no need to mention the template element and you can write whatever the thing you want at the bottom also you can write main second part or something like this so now these two things will come in the main why because these are not a part of any slots you try to see here now if you see the output here see now main content and main second part has been came in the default slot 
that is the main thing so this is how the uh, what i can say uh, named slots will work and the another thing what i want to tell you is before closing here we also have a slot header right so we can also mention the shorthand notation for this one we have a shorthand syntax instead of this one you can use hash header and here this one also you can use the hash footer this is also you can use you can use it like this also now if you see the output the same output we will be able to see but no difference anything and if you have a default one means so you can mention it like this so default template hash default you can use it like this hash default keep it like this so that you can be able to understand so we can have a clean code all the people will be able to understand like this so header default and footer and here also the same thing name is equal header you can also use the name is equal default like this also name is equal to footer so this is how the shorthand syntax we will be writing it and the another one which we want to tell i want to tell you is the scoped slots okay so the second one the second concept which i want to explain you is the scoped slots scoped slots is also one of the important thing what i want to tell you is i told you we have uh, i have told you that in our render scoping thing only the content only that content we can pass the data so this slot concept we can we can have an access to the parent content only so we don't have any access to the child properties so if you want to access the state in the child component so we cannot have it but we can do it however we can have a there are cases so we can be we can use this uh, child properties also we can able to access it using the slot scoped slots so this is one thing for example let's say that we are having slot name is equal to header right for a five, for the first time what we'll try to do is we'll try to use it with a normal slot so let's say that here, here I am having you low world or something like this. Okay. And this is a normal slot. And here I can remove this entire thing. Okay. And here I can use slot. This is the simple thing. And if you see the output here, we are able to see the hello world. Now, what I want to do here, I want to send some slot data. So here we will be having some script setup. Script setup. And here I am having constant message is equal to Leela web dev so this is the content we are we are having and we need to pass this content to the slot which is available in the parent so using the scope slot we can send it how can i send it is so here i can pass like this text equal to message you can pass it like this the name now how can we, how can i access in the slot here we can access the slot here in a such a way that here i can use in the mic in the slot component in the component name vi fun slot is equal to slot props so this name can be whatever the name you want you can keep it just like the props we can have it like this and here i can use something like you slot props if i try to use this one let's see what will happen you are able to see the text hello world and you can access the name with slot props dot text dot text directly you will be able to see highly love web dev see so that means by using this scoped slots we can able to access okay we can able to access the child content using this slot scoped slots now for example let's say that let's move to the previous one that is nothing but named slots if you are having a named slots so then how can i access this one so these are the named slots right so how can i access this one so here also let's move back okay here yeah. so these are the scoped slots right so now if i want to access what i can do so here you have for example let's say that here i am sending a message is equal to hello header i am using something like this and for this one i am using the message use the same name only uh, hello main content i can use it like this and here also i can use something like message is equal to hello footer content or something so this is the content i am trying to send you can send whatever the props you want you can send it you can also send something like count is equal to one or how many things you want you can send it not a problem now here we are having for each slot for each different uh, named slot named slots we are sending the props now here in the app dot view how can we access is for this hash header you can use something like header props like this now if you want to access this one here i can use like this header props header props now if you see the output see we are able to see hello header the message for the main content if you want to do so here it is there right 
here you can go you can get the default props or anything whatever the name you want you can keep it and here if i want to access it def do default props i can use the default props now if you see the output then also we are able to see this one message hello main content now for the footer content what we need to do here for this hash footer we need to use the footer props and here i can use something like do props that's it now if you see the output here also for this one also we are able to see two data two props two properties message and also the count why because we are passing two properties so like this we can send the child content to the parent content using the slot props so this is how we will be using so these are all the different types of things so we have learned a basic slot and also we have seen the how we can access the parent state in the slot thing and also we have seen the named slots and also we have seen the scoped slots also hope you understood about the slots concept and all those things if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you